Hey guys, it's Katie. I just wanted to show you a quick one page layout using Zoe, which is the Bring Back My Pack special this month. The colors are Smoothie, Heather, Canary, Mint, and Sweet Leaf. And this paper pack, it's fun, funky. It can be used for boys and girls, and it's available until the end of May. So this one page layout is featuring um, this picture of my daughter. I caught last year while she was reading in the car and it is totally inspired by Missy Whidden who I just absolutely love her style um, the way she works with mixed media I'm not familiar with so this stamp set which is a peek at some new product that's available May 1st is kind of my way of um, adding that Missy touch to this layout if you will and so I'm going to stamp um, two separate images from the stamp set. Uh, one kind of heavier one in that top uh, left and then um, one in the bottom right. And right now I'm just taking some squares that I've pre-cut and they're two and three eighths by two and three eighths. And I'm just laying them out on the layout. Um, the top row will kind of go off of the layout as will the bottom, but I'll just trim those off. So off camera, I've adhered them all and I've used my T ruler to make sure they're straight. And so now I'm just going to trim off um, that little bit that hangs off the top and the bottom. And they have a slight, not even a sixteenth of an inch um, space between them. Also off camera, I've stitched with white thread and then now I'm just kind of rough up those edges. And I knew that I was going to stitch and rough up the edges. So when I adhered them down, I did not go all the way to the edges to make it easier to do this. So I left that hole um, right there, but then I ended up um, adding that one last square right there, thinking that it would show. It ends up not, but oh well. And then I need to mat that photo. So I've pulled the cardstock that comes with the Zoe paper packet. So I've got Heather right here and I'm trimming it down to four and a half by four and a half. And then um, the canary is five and a half by five and a half. And so I just want to rough up the edges. We have an edge distressor. I just couldn't find mine. So my nails will have to work. And then I'm going to adhere this photo down. I'm only adding adhesive to the center of the photo in case I want to tuck anything in. And then I realized that that photo mat's just too big. Um, so I just cut off some more and then roughed it up. And then I put it on that canary, which I know I wanted much larger. And I knew that I didn't kind of want it a straight edge. So I'm just tearing it and Close to my heart's cardstock has that white core, which I love. It kind of adds an area of dimension uh, to anything. And so I've just torn all the edges. And then I wanted to bring in some sweet leaves. So I'm going to take a zip strip. I'm going to try that. That's really not going to work. So I end up taking one of the B&T sheets. And it's a sweet leaf with a, with a polka dot pattern. And I'm just going to roughly cut um, around this um, Heather photo mat and then adhere that to the sweet leaf and then adhere that to the canary again I'm only applying adhesive in the center in case I want to tuck some of those sticker embellishments in then I realized that that photo is going to hide most of that splatter so I went ahead and inked it up again and stamped another image down and then I'm going to take this wonderful 12 by 12 sticker sheet that comes with the Zoe packet and I'm going to try to play with some stickers. So I usually keep um, some wax paper on my desk and then that way I can take a sticker and I can put it on wax paper and I can play with the placement without actually sticking the sticker down because our stickies is, are really, really sticky. And so that way um, I'm not committed until I want to be. So the sentiment, of course, is bloom and grow. Um, we all know that little girls, we want them to grow up um, and bloom into the women that they're supposed to be. And I just love that she's kind of in deep thought on this picture. And so this sentiment goes perfect for this layout. So I've added a couple of more. I'm trying to play with some other stickers. Um, and so I really wanted to add another sentiment. 
And so I'm pretty sure those are going to go there, so I'll go ahead and stick them down. And then I'm ready to commit to that bloom and grow. So I'm going to take it off the wax sheet and put it down. And then add 3D foam tape behind those edges. And I ended up adding some more stickies that you can see in the photos of this layout at the beginning of this video and on my blog. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great weekend.